Hello there, vinyl community. It's your old friend Gary, and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Thanks for tuning in. This is a uh, new album that I just got, although it's not new, it's a reissue. And I am talking about the Beach Boys, Feel Flows, and what this is. Now, I, there's different sets of this, okay? I'm not going to call this a box set. They have a box set of this out. But what this is, is the more bare bones uh, version of it. This is a double LP. And it is the reissue of the Sunflower album and the Surf's Up album. And it, like I said, this one is the bare bones. Uh, all you have is, you have this opens up and tells a whole bunch of stuff about it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that is neat. And it also comes with uh, the large size version of the covers of Surf's Up and Sunflower. And then you open it up and it's got more information. Uh, talks about the different tracks on it. The vinyl itself is just your basic uh, black vinyl. Nothing, I don't I guess I don't really need to take it out. Uh, that's what the label looks like. So anyway, uh, these albums are um, from 1970 and 1971, I believe. Now I am not a Beach Boys expert by any stretch of the means. Uh, stretch of the imagination, I mean. But uh, I do like the Beach Boys quite a bit. And I am trying to add to my vinyl collection of the Beach Boys because I don't have enough of it. And to me, that's why I'm talking about this album because I'm sure there's other people uh, like myself out there. This is a good way to add to your collection. And what it is uh, are a couple of albums that don't have the big Beach Boy hits on them uh, that we think of. Uh, we all know and love those, well, not all of us, but uh, we love those songs from the Beach Boys, all those hits and stuff. But, uh, you know, towards the late 60s, after Pet Sounds, um, the Beach Boys were pretty much out of favor. Uh, they weren't really considered to be you know, one of the hot bands anymore. They were kind of passe. Uh, people didn't really care about the Beach Boys too much. Actually, when Pet Sounds came out, uh, it wasn't regarded the way it is now. And the Beach Boys, um, they lost a lot of popularity. They lost their album sales. They lost uh, concert revenue. Um, they just... They were considered an old band already by that point. But that's what's interesting about this uh, set here. And this is kind of why I recommend it. Because these two albums uh, are not, you know, like I said, these are not the ones you're going to know. Unless you're a hardcore Beach Boys fan. And if you are, then, you know, maybe you want to get the, uh, the box set which I know Sam St. John talked about on his channel. But uh, to me, this is a good value because it's basically the price of one vinyl, but you get two of them. They sound really good. Uh, the vocals are right out front. Now, I never had the original copy, so uh, I know that Surf's Up is one that I've been trying to find out in the wild, and I did see it uh, out there, but... Um, it wasn't in that good of condition. Here you are, basically, you know, these are going to be in perfect condition when you buy them. And it's a good way to see what the Beach Boys were like at this time period. So in these two albums, uh, Brian Wilson is not in complete control like he was on previous albums. Uh, we all know Brian Wilson's story. And... These albums, the other members of the band are writing songs and they're singing leads. So it's interesting to hear this. Now, is it all great? No. 
um, but I think it has some great moments on here. And if you're somebody who's just kind of on the fence, you know, you, you like the Beach Boys, well, maybe this is a good way for you to uh, cheaply buy a couple of albums in excellent condition and get an idea of what they sounded like during this time period, because this is when they were off of Capitol Records, so they went to Reprise. They had, uh, you know, a new, a new record label. And basically, they were pretty excited because nobody was paying attention to what they were doing anyway. Uh, they wanted success, obviously, but they didn't have the pressure as much, and they were kind of like just having fun uh, recording these songs because everybody was contributing uh, it wasn't just Brian Wilson, you know, taking charge. Now, you don't have quite as many of those perfect, you know, lush harmonies that we love from the Beach Boys. They're on here at points, but not as much as some of the earlier stuff. Uh, now, I know that some of the material, and I'm not sure what, uh, is left over from the Smile Sessions, which had been abandoned at that time and turned into a big fiasco uh, for the Beach Boys. I know that the song Surf's Up is from that, and that's a great song. Uh, that's That fits right up there in my mind with, you know, the other Beach Boy classics. And uh, really, the kind of the ending of this, uh, these last few songs here, Day in the Life of a Tree, Till I Die, and Surf's Up, uh, all kind of fit really well to end this album. And I really like those songs together. And there's there's plenty to like on here. And I guarantee you, uh, if you're not familiar with some of this stuff, you're going to listen to some of these songs and go, man, I would never have known this was the Beach Boys. But it is. There's more to them than... Uh, I think a lot of people realize. Uh, I know that uh, I've, I've got the album Amsterdam, and that's that's the same way. That's that's very different, and this kind of fits along with that. So uh, I recommend this album. You know, not the Beach Boys' best work, but there's still some really interesting music in here, and uh, you know, there's some songs on here that like just fit right into that time period of pop music. And um, these are songs that you're never going to hear on the radio. So if you want to hear some Beach Boys hidden tracks, um, this is the way to go. And I just think it's a good bargain because, like I said, double record set basically for the price of one vinyl. And uh, it's a good listen. So the Beach Boys, Feel Flows, it's out now. And go check it out. I'm Gary. This is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Until the next time, my friends, I will see you down the road.